What delightful agony we shall inflict. Alright, let's get this done. Now, I did call for aid to carry, but I was out cold, so... Uh, I'll be playing Fresh Support. Which, as we've already seen in one of my videos, was quite successful, so let's, uh, let's do it again. Uh, I am playing with Welcome the Asian Killer. Uh, again. Uh, Alright. So we'll go... We'll go Leash Blue for our Trundle Jungle, which is something I haven't seen in a while. Um, for those of you who don't know, you generally pick... Actually, I'm not sure, quite sure anymore when you'd pick Trundle. I'm not really a jungle main, I don't analyze you know, why you pick certain junglers over other junglers. But I know a few uh, from watching like Stonewall's channels, uh, Foxdrop, both very good junglers. In my opinion, you'd pick Trundle Jungle for uh, utility. Um, he can clear well. He's sustained in the jungle because of his passive. He can gank okay because he uh, throws down Frozen Domain, move fast, uh, Frozen Pillar to block off the enemy's escape, and then he can deal a bit of damage with his Q or result if he's ganking at level 6. But his ganks don't improve at level 6 very much anyway. Unless you go crazy and buy a Rylai's, at which point your ganks are pretty godlike. <laughs> if you burn your ult. So, I, I would say he's just, you know, like a utility, an all-round jungler. Sort of like Cho'Gath is. Cho'Gath is good at almost everything, except engaging. Um, but I'll be playing fresh support. We have Vayne, Ada Carry, Trundle in the jungle, and Fizz mid. The enemy team has LeBlanc mid. Corky, A to carry, what appears to be Velcro's support, there it is, and Trindamir top. Uh, Velcro's support is actually quite good, although I haven't had the opportunity to try it myself because I play Velcro's in mid lane. Damn it. Because so I play Velcro's in mid lane, not as a support. I took a lot of minion damage there, that's bad. Um, they're both quite long range, it's, it's difficult to get close to them because Thresh's attack range is now 475 instead of, I think it was 525 and then it, they pulled it down to 520. Got him. That's first blood for us. And Velkoz's flash. I'm gonna pop my health pot and look to hook Velkoz. Yeah, we got him. There we go. I want that solo. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so the commentary probably went to shit there because I was concentrating on landing hooks and whatnot. Well, we got the double kill, um, they engaged a little bit too hard on us and paid the price for it. I don't really need a mana pot, so I'm going to buy another ward. I'm going to get back into the shop and buy another ward and a bunch of health pots. Okay, there we go. Everything is fine. So we've got the wards that we need and uh, we'll be the hero this gen this. We'll be the hero of this team next. Uh, support. The Asian's still playing Nah. Um, to his detriment. But, but he's getting better. I told him I was recording this time around. He said that was okay. So. Ah! I'm not. I don't want to land a flay here because I'll proc minion. If I can do it in the bushes. It's fine because the minions won't proc aggro. Um, but it's harder, you know, with Thresh's nerfed range. Anyway, when I go in here, land, land the hook. Don't happen to give a. I'll take that. I've got health potions, so that's perfectly fine for me to do that. 
And I think Vayne had already flashed, so there was, wasn't anybody else going to get it. In a zone, Velkoz out of Q range, and out of experience range. At the moment. He's also level 2, so I'm going to just... Whoops. Okay, so what happened there was I clicked to throw the lantern, and I clicked outside of the range. So I didn't throw it, and consequently, well, Fresh moved instead of throwing it, and I missed my play. But it didn't matter, Vayne was all the way up there, so... And I'm out of mana for play. Well, I should have taken a mana potion! Out, 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 out. Boom. That's my mana regen. Wreck again. Yes. Wreck again. That's, that's exactly what I want my mana to do. I'm going to go throw down, down some wards. They have uh, Fizz Jungle. Well, okay, so both teams had Fizz. I might have missed that at the start. Runes and Masteries are uh, AD Durable Jungle for runes, for the attack speed, and AD Tank Masteries for the um, slow reduction, which will come in handy here because they have Velcro. Okay, yes, I failed to notice that the minion was in my way. So there we go, there's mana and cooldowns wasted on my part. Fizz says missing mid, but LeBlanc's still there, so I don't know what, what's going on. And looks like she wants it back, alright, that's fine. Go back, buy boots, and a ruby crystal. It's quite cold here, I'm actually gonna just put on a jumper. So, uh, this time around I won't go through the, uh, description of Thresh's kit, primarily because I did that already in my first Thresh video. Alright, there we go. A lot better now. Boots, Ruby Crystal, potions. I will wait for health potion, I've waited, uh, a while, I may as well wait a little longer. And then, uh, walk back to lane. Now, once I get my ultimate, uh, it makes it a, a lot easier to to prevent Corky from getting away once he burns Valkyrie. Because if he Valkyries through the box, he's still slowed afterwards. And of course, Velkoz is, is a mobile, so he's easy to uh, engage on and kill. An enemy has been slain. Thresh, is, Thresh is very dangerous in lane. Like, for the enemy team, he's incredibly dangerous. And on my next pack, when I've got my Sight Stone, I can sell my Warding Trinket and get a Detector one instead. And all will be well. Now the, the purple spikes, for anyone who doesn't know, that was a terrible hook. For anyone who doesn't know, that's Velkoz's passive. Uh, getting hit by one of his abilities causes you to gain a stack. If you have three stacks at any time, you it detonates and deals true damage. He can maintain the stack, he can like keep the stacks going by auto-attacking you. Damn it. I wasn't counting on him to do it that quickly. That's okay. Oh, this is still watered. Still watered. There we go. Damn it. That was a stupid, uh, a very, alright, well we got a flash. Um, no, that was a stupid exhaust on my part. Oh, I'm gonna die, but we got Corky. Uh, I think Trundle's dead as well. No, Trundle's gonna live. And Vayne should live unless she, yeah, okay. We... So we got... They're ready to carry for me, and I hadn't gotten a killing spree yet, unlike in my last video. So, um, it's, it's okay. It's better than me dying and us not getting a kill. It's worse than us. Die oh my god, I'm trying to live. Good work, Vane. Alright. 
Fizz came down, um, didn't do much, but but we got LeBlanc in the end, so that was, I guess my exhaust was worth it after all. No assist, no assist, but but we don't care. Valkyrie is out of mana. Yeah, I think he knew he was a dead man. He just let it happen. Wait, 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 wait. I want an assist on the tower. There's a minion in the way. The best around. No one's ever good. Okay, yeah, there's his playful trickster. I was going to flay him, but I didn't think I was quite close. Oh, I probably was close enough. Um, I didn't think I was close enough, and then he playful trickstered, so I left. There's a lantern. Grab the lantern! I'll go ward things. Dragon. I'll ward dragon. I don't have my ult yet, so I'm gonna just sneak into lane. Yep. Sneaky. Should've gone around. Should really have gone around. Now I have to bend parts. Oh well. You can feel those attack speed master is kicking in there. Alright, so once Velkoz hits level 6, that's when their lane gets incredibly dangerous. He just watered that. It's when their lane gets dangerous, because he can just ult, and that deals a lot of damage. Oh, damn it. Okay, I missed. Excellent. Never throw max range hooks. And I want to back off before I get hit by another. Okay, there we go. Stacks are down. This is watered. I don't have my hook up. And I can't harass from range because he can just throw a rocket at me. Damn it! Oh well. Theoretically, here, yeah, Van gets the kill. Oh wait, they don't have a tower. Oh, Alright, so they don't have a tower, but he's still Velkos. He's still a burst mage. He does have a little bit of AP. At least 20. Minus runes. LeBlanc doesn't have a silence or she would have dived that. Ha! LeBlanc no longer has a silence. It's so good. It's so good. Don't. Don't do it. Alright. I need a little bit to collect my bearings. So I'm 1, 2, and 4. I think I've died twice where it could have been avoided by my by me not sitting in a minion wave and in their front line. Um, I might actually go mid. Never mind. No, Trundle should have this. If he gets another chomp off, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. Don't dive that. Um, I will. I'll run around here. Have I got wards left? Yes, I've got wards left. Okay, you guys could have grabbed the lantern, but, you know, whatever. Oh, wow, she... She jumped back. Alright. That <laughs> works for me. Wow, she jumped back. Alright. Let me tank this. Okay, yeah, someone else can tank this. I don't want to tank this. So, yeah, no, we got the dragon, even though enemy Fizz tried to smite it, he failed his smite, and we now got a kill on the Corky. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Red buff. Red buff OP. Good work, team. So, you can see there, I timed my hook so that the instant Fizz landed on me, because I was low health and he was going for me, he was trying to get a kill and the dragon. I timed my hook so that it hit Fizz once he landed. Um which gave us that. It might also have fucked up his smite. He might he may have panic smited because he was stunned. And I'm gonna need so much MR. Wow, okay. Um I'm actually gonna rush a Banshee's Veil. And some Helm Pines. Because the only person the only people they have that are really A D 
uh, Trinomir and Corky, and Corky's abilities all deal magic damage. However, Corky's behind, so maybe I should have gotten mixed. Oh well, too bad. Too bad. Now I've got my alt, so let's try and make some plays. Um, I'll go ward things. Ooh. Oh god, I missed. Now oh, I'm terrible. Wow. Sorry, I'm bad. I, I made a terrible decision. I overestimated my damage. Not really. Don't worry about it, mate. Not really, four. Yep. That's that's my number pet, being, uh, being a troll. Is she gonna live? Yeah, she's gonna live. No, she, ooh. If they do, the thing is, if she she needed to be someone like Graves here, so she can AOE clear the wave. The thing is, if if people are trying to dive you, just clear the minion wave. That no. It was well played to begin with. She invis past all of LeBlanc's click to win, and then LeBlanc missed the, the snare. Because it didn't proc the mark, but as soon as she wasn't invisible, they just bursted her down. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm gonna stop trying unless I actually am looking at my target. Okay, I didn't get any of those. Wonderful. So it does actually look like Vayne is going to another lane, so I'm gonna take the opportunity to farm while I'm here. Uh, to farm up a Spectre's Cow. And it doesn't look like we're gonna get to go damage this game because we aren't as fed as we were last game. So there's. There isn't that, I should say. Uh, uh, mid is an opportunity, but I don't think I can get there before they back, so I'm gonna keep farming. So, as you can see, because of the souls I've collected, I do deal um, a bit of magic damage on hit, and it only scales with the attack speed runes that I have. The more attack speed you have, the more DPS you can put out. If you get fed early on Thrash, you go for AD items. If, if you're as ballsy as I am, if you don't go like, Oh, I've got money, let's put it into tank items. No, screw that, I go for damage. Um... But if, if you get fed late, like the game has gone, I don't know, 70 minutes and you have like 200 or so souls or whatever, you, you wouldn't have 200 souls in 70 minutes, but you'd, you'd have something. You would, you would have 210 if you had been collecting them steadily. At which point you'd get something like a wit's end because of the M pen, the attack speed, the bonus uh, magic resist on it. Let's get the heck out of here, man. I'll go ward. Okay, so Fizz is here and you want to run. And LeBlanc's here as well. I think. I just saw LeBlanc. Yeah, I did. I saw LeBlanc. Alright, so Fizz isn't here. They've swapped out uh, LeBlanc. Vane, please stop BMing them. When you're playing Velkars and people walk forward to dodge your Q, the absolute best thing you can do is fire it at them in a predictable pattern and detonate it uh, early. They will walk right into it. If if you're on a Velkars marker when he fires it, you move backwards because it'll detonate before. If you aren't on it, if you're uh, before the marker like I am now, you walk forwards. Tank those. I can also go in and throw a land. Don't 
That's our fizz, good. We'll leave a land for Crandall. He did grab it. I want the soul. I didn't get an assist there, because I didn't have anything. Missed my hook on Belkoz, so I didn't get a uh, reset. I'm, I'm gonna go back to base, I can buy things. I'm gonna collect this soul. I'm gonna go back to base, I can buy things. Be right back. Okay, so we're gonna. I max um, a a Q W on fresh. The just ate his face. Uh, mid tower went down there. An enemy has been slain. My opinion, Fizz should have cleared the wave and come around through this segment of jungle and let Trundle deal with it. But I think we're gonna get a dragon. Whoops! That that was a misclick. That was just me being terrible. Fat fingered the Q. Okay, we got that. And I think I can. No, I can't afford my Banshee spell. All right, so I, we gotta get more kills. <laughs> we gotta get more kills. Where do you think you're going? See, that works quite nicely. Now we're almost able to afford. If I can get like one CS here, which I could justify if I had a target. Ah! There we go, I got a Banshee's Bell. And more souls. Nar! Nar! Are you free to play or do you own that chap? My right arm is a lot stronger than my left arm. Hmm. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I like Nah. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I've got the Banshee's Veil, so... Um, in all likelihood, Trinomir really isn't going to focus me. And I might pick up an Aegis, since I'm not fed. Um, Locket. Yeah, Locket. And it does look like team is actually in need to so roam up. Shut down. We've gotten the Trindamir. Just need to save Vane. Yeah, she's fine. Where'd the rest of their team go? Got no ward coverage. Bad. They've got ward coverage. And Corky has balls. Actually, no, I suppose it's the smartest thing to do. If you don't get your back off, then Fizz will kill you. So you may as well keep. And if you try to run, it'll probably kill you anyway. So, probably best to just let it go through and then Valkyrie away. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Trindamir. You shit. Valkyrie. Yeah, there it is. Now if we dive him. Shut down. Oh, Trundle, why didn't you grab the fucking plan? An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. It's a flash. I won't go back to base yet, because I want to collect all of these souls. This is going to miss. I'm an idiot. 
let's go. So, we've gotten... We killed Corky. Trundle got Corky in that dive and then didn't grab the land. He might not have been able to grab the land because it was on top of him and it's got a really weird click box. But, in any case, uh, we got LeBlanc's Flash as well. So, you know, it's pretty decent. Good guy, Trindamir. Support doesn't get credit the role deserves. Yeah, that's true. It's attack speed. I nearly have like a one per second. Which is pretty, pretty good. Now the one, one of the benefits of Targon's early game is that it heals your AD carry, whereas Nomad's Medallion just heals you. But um, Targon's, if you can stay in lane long enough to use it effectively, does uh, definitely does give you more gold. Like I would have about 800 by now, instead I have uh, only a little bit less than 700. No, we don't want to do this. All right, that's fine. They are coming down. An they don't know we're here. So I have the Ruby Crystal. We got a turret, so I nearly got enough gold for one of these, but I don't have the inventory space anymore. Anyway. I'm picking up an Aegis because LeBlanc deals damage and Fizz deals Rampage. damage. I know they're both behind, but they deal Shut damage. Uh, in fact, they're pretty much everybody on their team is behind except for Endermere. Because yeah, no, all right. So this is another storm. Look at that. Their support hasn't built ages. Something's going on in the chat. I'm gonna just farm the lane. Any gold that you can like? It's, there's no one here. There's no one coming here. I may as well farm it and then go mid. It would be better if I had mobility boots because there'd be less downtime between the fights, but... And there we <laughs> Team doesn't need me! What are you talking about? Alright, let's go. Ooh, oh, dragon. Uh, Barons lose games at pretty much any elo, but dragons... Dragons win. Yeah, have a shield. Shielded exactly one attack. That was beautiful. Money in my pockets. I can probably tank this if we need to, if they clear the wave too fast. But they won't since we just got a Mega Nar. And I don't need to since we just got a Mega And everyone's backing off, so we're not gonna engage. And then our main our main source of damage, the 1326 vein, is backing off, so we're gonna back off. No plus. Alright. Aegis is up. Because they deal mostly magic damage anyway. Trinomir. Trinomir has kills, but he's irrelevant since he's not showing up to use them. Oh, actually, you know what? There he is. Irrelevant, I said. He actually is. Oh, a little. Oh, I wish I had mobility boats. I don't need mobility boats. The team is fine. Nosh! Oh, where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Oh, he queued through a minion straight back into the box, which had already missed. He takes back to 
this, yeah. I want LeBlanc to jump on me. That's... Oh! It was nearly gonna hit. Oh, right, he was grabbing the lantern. I thought we were going back here. It's just my fault. Like, I read that badly. Now, if Trundle goes and clears bot, I can run along and uh, get money. <laughs> Damn that minion! This is just charging my angel coin. Thanks, mate. I'll go with you. Alright, oh, I don't have my ability boots, so I don't go quite as fast as he does. I will eventually enchant my boots with alacrity. And I'm gonna go back here. I've got a locket. Locket goes there. Locket will help shield my team from their damage. Gives everyone magic resist and health regen for pushing, and it'll shield for up to 180, which won't block any single ability they have, but it'll reduce the damage a little. However, I really do need a boot enchant, so I'm quite slow. That was bad. There goes my Banshee's Vow. Fantastic. I'm gonna ward. I don't want anybody sneaking up on us. Alright, we win. I want to vein belt anyway. In fact, wow, she's fed. She's so fed. We got turret, but but he died. Look at those shields! Lock it okay. Is it missed by a hook? Fizz, what do you think? Where do you think you're going? That was bad. I want 25 gold. That's a minion. Pick it out. Alright, there we go. So, uh, Fizz died, which was unfortunate, but, well, we killed a lot of people. And yes, we can Baron. As you can see, if I had a Targans right now, I'd have no mana at all. Go up. Shit, sorry. Alright, so while they're doing this, I'll go put water. Yeah. I will take the Baron's soul. Gonna back can get this uh, talisman. So I can pick up my talisman now. And with luck, oh no, I can't. Alright, so I will get a boot enchant instead. 
Alright, there we go. I was gonna pick up an upgraded sight stone for the like small amount of extra health, but I couldn't. Um, I really don't have to get an armor item this game because I have my passive giving me 80 armor. So I can just stack MR, and if I need to, get a damage item. If the game does drag out that long, which it won't, I'm fairly sure we're going to win with our next push. There goes my Banshees. No! There doesn't go my Banshees, somehow. This, this is not... Not a good engage. We don't want to 2v4. He does have a lot of farm, though. He has a ton of farm. We're sort of just waiting for Trundle and Fizz, although I think Fizz is gonna split push, and so is Dares, so work out fine. And there's his Valkyrie. And it does look like they sent Valkoz to stop our Fizz. Which may and we're sending Nar to stop there for alright, so the teams are still matched. Oh, all right. That was a terrible hook, but it served a purpose. Okay, so I'm gonna be over here in, in the corner crying, so I suck. I don't care about the Velkoz cure, I want the souls. Grab the lantern, grab the lantern. God damn it. So, what does this give me? Is it still 20%? No, it's 10%. So I will have 35% CDR. Um, considering getting an ice pawn for tanking towers and slowing people down. Well, no, I missed my hooks. But everyone else still does a lot of damage, so. Gonna look into more MR items. We're gonna get an ice born. A little bit of extra mana will help. The armor will help for tanking towers and Trinimir. That's the honest truth. Like, I sucked. No, I'm gonna, like, watch these videos and just watch what I did and be like, wow, you deserve to be silver. Um, I got, can't actually 1v1 their fist, but I can, I can scare them. Alright, I lost my Baron buff. Holy shit, it's too tanky. It's too tanky in megaphone. I still have my banshees. More armor, more souls, more damage. There goes veins. Come on, dash into it. Get out of the way. Not gonna get that soul and I don't wanna waste the land. We need the super winions to clear these waves. And I need to land a hook on Corky or Fizz. Which is fairly difficult in and of itself. That was terrible. As usual. I 
I want the 25 gold. 25 gold. Alright, well, we got him. Right, well, we got him all. There we go. Get you up, mate. Ah, glad that's over. So bad.